If you found yourself here, it's likely you are looking for how to enable developer mode on a Chromebook. And it could be to sideload an Android app or to do some kind of development experiment. But either way, you need to know how to go about doing that. And so we want to quickly show you how you can go about enabling developer mode, especially this new version of the way that you get into developer mode on your Chromebook. Before we jump in, a couple caveats obviously apply. First up, we've had developer mode enabling on other videos in the past, but I think that all of those videos actually use the old version, which required some different key presses and that kind of stuff. It was a little bit weird. The new version of the basic like bootloader kind of thing, the, the recovery screen on your Chromebook is much easier to navigate. You can use arrow keys and the enter button and, and kind of get around much easier. So that's kind of what we want to showcase here today. And second, you need to remember that whenever you do this, whenever you switch to developer mode, and this is not developer channel, this is a, an entirely different mode, A, it's not as secure, so you don't get the benefits of secure boot. So you need to know what you're doing and make sure to avoid any kind of malicious software extensions, that kind of thing. But also it's going to wipe your Chromebook. So everything that's on here is going to be completely deleted. It's going to be like it's factory fresh. So as long as you know those things going in and know that you probably don't need to hang out in developer mode like all the time, do what you need to do and switch it back off. And either way, going in or going out, it's gonna wipe your Chromebook completely clean. If you know those things and you're okay with doing this, then let me show you how to get it done. Okay, to get started and in moving into developer mode, you don't have to be on any specific screen or logged out, logged in, none of those things matter. You're really just gonna look for three keys. That's your escape key, your refresh key, which are both in the function row, and depending on your Chromebook, you need to find your power key. Some of them have it up in the top right, some of them have it along the side. This uh, Dragonfly Chromebook, actually the power button's over here on the left. So as soon as you hit those three keys together, it's gonna immediately start the process of basically getting you into developer mode. It's gonna take you to the recovery screen, basically. And that's the spot where you would normally go uh, and, and put in a recovery image if something really went wrong with your Chromebook. And so that's generally what this screen is made for. Uh, if you have a tablet, uh, for instance, uh, there, there are some different things. We've actually made a video specifically for developer modes uh, and tablets. Uh, we have a post on the website. We'll link that stuff in the description. Uh, so you can go check that out. A lot of those have some different combos and you have to go to the manufacturer page or Google's help uh, page to find those. A lot of times it's both volume keys and the power, uh, but it can vary from device to device. On every Chromebook I've ever tried ever, uh, escape, refresh, and power button is gonna get you to that screen. So without any further ado, again, I've not set this thing up. There's nothing uh, special going on here. I'm gonna hit these two and touch the power key and you see immediately you're taken to the recovery screen. And this can happen even during boot up, anytime you can hit that and get to this screen. And if you get here, and somehow got here by accident, you can get right back out. So um, you can actually just scroll down here to power off um, under advanced options. I'll show you around a little bit while we're here, but you can see right here, recover using external storage. Uh, and, and my apologies, we would have this screen recorded, but obviously this part would not exist in the screen recording. So we can't actually screen record this, this whole setup thing. But used to, there was a, a combination to go through here and get to a different part and control D and do all this stuff. Now you can just kind of arrow key your way around this entire interface, including uh, your language selection up here. There's quite a few languages you can choose. So we want to recover using external storage. That would be if you had an image, you want to write uh, or a written image that you want to re uh, uh, write the entire Chromebook with. Recovery, this is a new thing, using an internet connection. So you can actually get uh, online with this, uh, with this recovery process and it'll pull the recovery image uh, from the internet. We haven't done that yet. We haven't even tried it to see how it works. So uh, maybe that's something we'll do in the future and mess around with. Um, you can launch your diagnostic from here. Um, so let's just take a look at that real quick, just so you can see it since we're in here anyway. It takes just a few seconds to go. And then you get, this is a lot of the same stuff you would get in the diagnostic app. Uh, but this is, if your Chromebook's not booting up, there's some things you can check here. Uh, storage test, memory check. If everything checks out here, maybe your image just went bad. Uh, no big deal. So uh, we want to get back out of this. Uh, I think the only way from here is to actually power off. But as you can see, I can move around freely in this. There's no special keys needed, which a lot of times with like BIOSes and stuff like that, you gotta like know all the, the secret commands and stuff to get around. 
with this particular thing, like you really don't. Like Google has made it super duper simple uh, to get in and out. And so now that that's powered off, I can actually show you um, that we can go into recovery even from a powered off state, you can see. So like I said, anywhere you are in, the, in, in this OS, those three buttons are gonna trigger this. So let's get back to where we were here. Uh, under advanced options, you can see a few things. Enable developer mode, obviously, is what we're here for. Uh, you can get some debug info if, if you're a developer uh, or if uh, Google's trying to help troubleshoot some stuff. There's a firmware log. Uh, again, there's an old version of internet recovery. I've not even seen that before uh, or back to your main menu. Um, but for what we're doing today, we're gonna go to enter or enable developer mode. It's gonna say you're attempting to enable developer mode. Yes, that is what I wanna do. It's gonna tell you again, like I told you, it's gonna erase all the data. Uh, and also it's gonna make your device insecure. These are two things I told you at the beginning of this video. That is true. They are not just saying that to keep you from doing this. Uh, so again, I wouldn't stay in here very long if I were you, uh, but you know, get what you need done, do what you need to do, and then probably leave developer mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and confirm that. And you're gonna see it boot up now to a screen that probably looks a little bit less user friendly, but it's pretty straightforward and simple. And it will begin the process of actually putting you in developer mode. So it's not gonna do it, like you're not gonna see any of it until we boot from internal disk. So at this point, let me point this out. Every time while you're in developer mode, when you turn your Chromebook back on, you're gonna be here. This is gonna be the screen you come to first. And if you sit here too long, it'll beep at you. Uh, if I return to secure mode from here, we'll do that before we leave this video, that is actually gonna wipe the Chromebook again, re-enable secure mode, uh, and basically turn all your you know secure boot back on, uh, turn developer mode back off. So I'm gonna boot from the internal disk and we should end up seeing it. Yeah, there we go. So this is the screen I was talking about. This is kind of part of the old uh, uh, UI that was part of the uh, uh, recovery section here. It is transitioning. It's gonna take 30 seconds to even start. Uh, so this, this takes just a few minutes. So depending on the Chromebook, it can take anywhere from zero to like 15 or 20 minutes. And so it gives you that, that 30 second window to be like, hey, we're getting ready to do this just to make sure uh, you, if you don't want this and it could void your warranty and you could, well, I've already missed it. it. Some bad things could happen technically to you uh, with this particular setup. If you want to get out, turn the thing off right now. And so you have that one last window to turn it off. I didn't take it, obviously. It's going to prepare. And then you're going to start to see uh, kind of a ticker across the top. Here it goes. Uh, very basic, but you can see a percentage here, and you'll see this thing go across the top. Again, depending on the device, um, you see that just made a really huge jump within seven seconds, 5%. This one, it's a very fast Chromebook. It might not take it that long, uh, but it always is gonna take a little bit of time. So we'll cut away while this is doing this. Nothing else will happen here, uh, I promise. Nothing exciting. And we'll cut back as it's getting close and is ready to actually transition fully into developer mode. Okay, and as promised, as soon as that is done, it boots right back to this screen, which is technically a reboot and we're gonna boot from internal disk until you're ready to leave developer mode. So let me just do that real quick, just so you can see and know that you know everything's fine. It's The OS is gonna run just fine. And specifically, this Chromebook, I had it in the beta channel, um, and you'll actually see it's, uh, it's actually should still be in that same channel. So let me get onto our Wi-Fi. Okay, once we get through all the setup process, you can see pretty clearly everything's set up just the way it was. Uh, I'm still actually in the beta channel, uh, as you can see right here, um, Chrome OS beta. So it's not gonna change your channel. Again, it, it'll wipe the device. There's nothing on this thing now. So if I go to my uh, downloads, there's there's nothing in this folder anymore. Uh, but it is really cool to see, you know, um, I'm in developer mode and I don't really have to go about fixing or changing anything else. And what this is gonna allow is stuff like Android apps to be sideloaded. So if I have uh, an APK I downloaded, I can now double click that in the file menu or in the file manager and it will go and install that sideloaded APK. So this is one way around uh, sideloading apps, uh, Android apps. We're hopeful that Google's gonna really remove the necessity for developer mode for app sideloading because you don't need developer mode on Android to do that. So it'd be nice for them to remove that because that's mostly what people are looking for developer mode to do but there could be a handful of other reasons you need to do this. And the moment you're ready to go back, um, I'm just gonna power down here. And as soon as I go to boot, 
Uh, let me give it just a second to power off. As soon as I go to boot up, we'll come to that screen that we've hit multiple times at this point. And instead of booting from the internal disk, I'm just going to return to secure mode. It's going to tell you again, hey, it's putting you back to original state. Uh, it's going to wipe it again. So I'm going to confirm. This time around, however, it does not take very long uh, to turn off developer mode. Turning on developer mode takes a little bit of time. Turning off developer mode uh, usually takes, I don't know, uh, maybe 30 seconds to a minute. So uh, we may have to cut away here uh, just so you're not bored to death while you're looking at this, but it doesn't take anywhere near as long as getting into developer mode. And a quick note uh, that's interesting, this particular device, and maybe this is developer mode in general, I haven't used developer mode for a little bit, uh, but it went into uh, full developer mode, I think within like four minutes, five minutes, something like that total. Uh, so it wasn't nearly as long as it used to be. Could be just this device or, you know, 12th gen Alder Lake Chromebooks. It could just be that uh, they've made the process a little simpler and straightforward. But as you can see, once again, this Chromebook is wiped. There's nothing on it, but it is back to having a secure boot. It is back uh, without developer mode turned on. But it, again, just like the, uh, just like going into developer mode, coming back out of it, I'm still going to be in the beta channel of Chrome OS. So wherever you're at channel wise, you're going to stay put there, uh, regardless of whether you're in developer mode or not. But guys, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, head down there, hit that subscribe button, and be sure to ring the notification icon as well. If you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos, just like this one until next time, we'll see you.